So, hello and welcome back. Uh, this is the second part here of my Arnav. Uh, well, I don't want to call it tutorial. You know, I, I'm not really into tutorials, but um, my description of how I understand Arnav approaches. So in the first part, I have given you some overview of how to read the charts and uh, what to do in order to kind of uh, train Arnav. Basically, choose an airport that you know, choose an aircraft that you know you need to have an Arnav capable aircraft. Um, and uh, yeah, so we are sitting in one of those. This is uh, one of the two aircraft I have currently installed uh, with my prepared version 4 installation. This is the PMDG. And uh, I have uh, set it up in the short uh, startup uh, panel configuration. So it's basically, we're kind of ready to, to push back. Um, but what we haven't done yet is we haven't actually programmed our FMC. And this is part is going to be about programming the FMC and how to select a um, an Arnav approach. Okay, so some of what I'm doing now is not particularly linked to Arnav approaches because I first need to kind of set up the basic stuff. So if here in the ident page, I have a pretty, yeah, I think it's the current ARAC actually, yeah. And uh, I'm going to position in it and uh, I'm going to enter Munich Airport, Echo Delta Delta Mike. And I am going to, I think this is gate 102. This works here in the PMDG. So in theory, we are actually at this position. I'm comparing it now with this. So we are slightly pushed back. So we're not exactly at the, at the, at the holding point. So therefore, um, we have a slightly different coordinate, but that's okay. I'm going to go to the route and we're going to, for, for test purposes now, only for you, for, for showing it to you, we're going to fly from Munich to Munich. Now that's not normally what something you would do, but uh, the idea is that I show you how you enter it in the FMC, not how we fly it. Um, we're going to use runway 08 left for takeoff and for the arrival. And that's about it then. Um, I. Um, I'm going to go to the departure, going to pick some departure and actually for this uh, I'm going to start my Navigraph charts again. I'm going to need them anyway in a moment. And I am going to, where are my favorites here? Munich. Okay, so let me show you this here. So here's Munich Airport and we looked at the arrivals here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm very quickly going to go for the SIDs and uh, I would like to pick some SID um, where we end up close to our arrival point. And input, nope, 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 okay, nope. Wrong, wrong half of the airport. Um, let me see. This is give me, give me departure. Give me could be could could be it. Yeah, I think give me is not too bad. Let's see if we find something that is even closer. So this is the mic departure. Um, could use that as well, but. Um, so we're looking north, Rida. Rida looks like, like the kind of departure uh, because the idea is that I would like to then um, directly uh, move on to the arrival. So I think Rida is, is, a good, is a good choice. So I'm going to select 08 left. I've done that already here. And now I'm going to use the Rida 6 Quebec. 
and uh, we can actually have a quick look at that Oops. by calling up the display Oops, no, I need to go back and I need to move this a little bit out of the way. So, so we can see if I move over to the, uh, hang on, I don't have my hardware activated. Okay, so that's better. And then, yeah, here we can see the departure. Right. So that's the departure, but that's not what we are really um, looking at. It's just if if I want to do a test flight, I would depart from 08 left and I would follow the departure route and I'm trying to get close to where our entry point for the arrival is. Um, and then now next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the EDDM arrival. I'm going to select ILS 08 left again. And uh, now I'm going to pick not the Arnav arrival actually, I'm going to choose the the APGA, the APGAS, uh, by the way APGAS in, in German is also exhaust, <laughs> so the exhaust gases basically. <laughs> so some of these names sometimes are a bit funny, so APGAS uh, and it will be probably something like the APGA 3 Alpha arrival, okay, which brings us to Mike which then in turn, if you remember um, from my first part, is here. And that would kind of uh, bring us into the um, arrival mode. So I'm going to use APGA 3 Alpha. And what we can see now is that, um, let's see. Um, yep. So we're flying out here, we're flying here, Rida. And then we are basically coming in somewhere over there. We need to find out what that looks like. Uh, back to via Rokil, Mike. Okay. And uh, that is the star. But I've actually made a mistake. And you know which one. So I'm going to repeat this again. I made a mistake. Actually, we do not want to go ILS. That was just out of sheer uh, <laughs> routine here. Uh, we actually want to go for the APGA 3 Alpha with the RNAV 08 left. We are looking at RNAV stuff here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and <coughs> you also now have to select what is called the transition. And for that, um, we can have a look at the arrival, uh, sorry, at this here, and the transition is basically the, let's see, DM429, LAN08, LUL1 Charlie. Mm -hmm. See if there are more transitions. We can go down, aha. There's also the ROC08 uh, and the mic transition. Mic transition is what we want. And you can see this now. Um, let me quickly do this again a little bit uh, bigger. Um, and then we are going to go into step mode as soon as we've put this in. So it's APGA 3 Alpha for the RNAV approach 08 left transition mic. And uh, I'm going to look at this now. So let's uh, let's activate this route and execute. So here's our route now. And we're going to go into the legs page, and this is now the departure. So we are going Delta Mike 07, Delta Mike 703, MIQ and B, which is the Mike NDB. That's what this stands for. Walda. Valda, Rida, and then we have a um, discontinuity, okay, because APGAS is a bit further to the west. So what I could do is now for our test flight, this is highly unusual, you don't do this in, in real life really. So from APGA, uh, Rida, we go now to APGAS, and from APGAS we are turning towards Lura, Lelta, Rokil and back to Mike again and at Mike we're going to turn to the right 
to hit DM421, DM431 and Magat. So when you when you look at this, so Rokil is somewhere here. Um, we're coming into Mike. Can't see this now. Then we turn. We go to DM421. That's here. DM431. That's here. And quite important, Magat. Okay. All right. Now. There's something missing. I'm going to finish this off. So I'm going to use the zero fuel weight. Um, let's say two tons reserve. We're going to use uh, cost index 25. Um, we can take any kind of flight level. Um, I would say we are going to climb to yeah, something like eight uh, flight level 80 um, and uh, we're going to do a transition. Let's do a derated takeoff, and it's going to be a flaps one takeoff. Um, that's our trim. Now I'm not going to do this the flight now. I'm just uh, finishing off sort of the the setup, because then what happens is it will put in all the altitudes here. Okay, so let's have a look, Mike. NB or MIQ NDB is actually the entry point. The initial this is actually called the initial approach fix. Um, officially, <laughs> this is the initial approach fix, um, which leads us from Mike down to um, so let's use the step again. So from Mike down to Magat and Magat, if you remember, I'm going to show you this here again. Magat was basically the, the begin of our descent, the begin where we actually fly the RNAV approach. Okay. So that's what we've done here. And what you can see is um, it's putting in altitude. So at Magat, we are still at 5000. And then there is nothing in between which means that the rest to the runway 08 left, um, it will calculate the descent path, which is a three degrees descent path. And we are going to fly it uh, in the, the Boeing. We are going to use VNAV and LNAV. So if everything set up with VNAV and LNAV, we're going to use this. And the other thing we're going to do is um, that we are putting in the minimum and the minimum, again, if you remember my first part, since we have a category C, the minimum is either 1802 barometric or I'm going to use the radio altitude, which is 335. So I'm going to uh, oops, go here and try and find. Uh, yeah, zoom doesn't work here. OK, so let's use the key which is supposed to repeat. If it doesn't move, we need to bring it to 335. So there's a lot of turning here. But you need to be careful because this is actually on, on borrow, I just realized. So you need to switch this to radio and now we start again. <laughs> no. Oh, come on. Yeah, this is a bit of a pain here. So very small buttons and uh, you very easily uh. So let's try and not move it over to borrow again because we want radio 335. La 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 la. Yo, and now very careful. Three, three, five. So, we've actually set our um, decision uh, decision height, as that's called, because it's the radio. And what will happen then um, if we fly this approach? We're going to uh, get a minimum call at three hundred and thirty-five. And when we hear that minimum call, we need to make sure that uh, we can see the runway. If we can't see the runway when the minimum is called out, 
we have to follow the missed approach route. Now in this in this aircraft here, like in the in the 737, uh, the missed approach route is already in, and you can see that actually when I um, go a little bit. Yeah, let's go one back. Okay, so when you see here, okay, this is this is here the Arnav approach line. You can see also the runway. This is a dashed line here, all right. And the missed approach is basically continuing along the runway heading, and then at 1900 feet, or DME 551, whichever is later, we turn to the left, and we go direct Mike M I Q N D B or this. MIQNB actually is a uh, is an ARNAV, an area navigation fixed point. It's uh, it happens to be at the same position as the actual NDB, and you could actually uh, dial in the NDB frequency, and you could have this as a backup as well. Okay, but the computer will then fly us automatically to MIQNB. Uh, missed approach altitude at MIQ should be five. five hang on, not that I'm telling you the wrong thing is 5000 so let's look at the instructions again missed approach climb on 081 to dm551 or 1900 whichever is later then turn left direct miq climbing to 5000 all right or mike india quebec if you want to be very precise <laughs> so that's it um, basically in in a boeing and also in an airbus um, I think that I think the Aerosoft Airbuses can do this. The Flight Factor Airbus should be able to do this. Uh, definitely the Flight Sim Lab thing, although I don't have it. Um, so most Airbuses, if they have some decent uh, implementation of an FMC, should be able to uh, bring you that Arnav approach. Um, so how do you fly this? Basically, uh, you're flying your normal um, LNAV, VNAV approach. Okay, so you let the computer uh, or ATC for that matter, if could be that you're actually vectored, but whatever way you let the computer fly this here, okay, uh, make sure that you get to the right altitude and not below it. So you need to be careful that uh, we are at 5000 when we approach Magat. Uh, normally, if the computer flies, they um, you just put in the 5000 here at the altitude, this um, selector, and then that. The rest should be done by the computer. And uh, and then what I do is, and this is actually something that is different to an ILS, normally if the ILS kicks in and uh, those, uh, those indicators f come close and they center and uh, basically localizer and glide slope mode have been taken over, um, I actually put in the missed approach altitude here, which would be the 5000. Um, and I let the ILS um, or the computer fly the ILS. In the case of the VNAV, LNAV, RNAV approach, so the one with vertical guidance, I actually, um, you need to actually give it the altitude to which it shall descend. And what I do there is, I actually put in the altitude or slightly above of this thing here. So if my LNAV VNAV category C is 1800, I would actually put in 1800 as an altitude. Make sure that you have your biometric setting correct for the airport uh, altitude. And uh, I put in 1800 uh, because I don't want it to go lower than 1800. So there's another safeguard. So if I put in the 1800 here, I can be sure that uh, the computer will only descend automatically if I sh do not take over earlier than that. But in, in the maximum, it would actually descend is 1800 or the minimum, better to say. And then they would stop because I'm telling it to stop at 1800. Um, now, do I, uh, once I reach the 1800 or the 335 radio, which is our decision height, um, I usually take over manually. When I see the, uh, when I actually see the the runway, I turn off the autopilot and uh, also take over uh, from the power and, and so all throttle off, uh, flight directors off, autopilot off, and then I take manually and I fly the approach quite normally. So that's how I do it. Uh, 
That's basically all the instructions. There isn't really that much more you need to know. And it looks similar on most Boeings, especially on the PMDG ones. That looks pretty much the same everywhere. Uh, it also looks almost like that, not quite, but almost like that in the Zebo mod in X-Plane. Um, and also in the Flight Factor aircraft, you are able to run even in the older 777. I was doing some RNAV approaches for world flight years ago, like in 2013 or so, when I was uh, flying with the uh, Flight Factor 777. Um, so I used it actually and, uh, and also defined the, the, the RNAV. I had two RNAV approaches at that time. So they do work nicely and I'm pretty sure Flight Factor and Co. Uh, I've never done a, an RNAV in the Flight Factor Airbus or in the TOLIS yet, I think. But um, yeah, I think I'm going to try this out uh, in the next in the next flights. I might actually do the odd RNAV approach and then just check out the different aircraft that I have once I have them installed and activated again on my clean setup here. Right, that's it. There isn't really much more I can tell you. So we've seen now the whole chart thing and, and what to look for, you know, and we have now seen how you program this thing. You can do this, by the way, during flight. You do not need to do this at the airport. I just did it now at the airport because it is easier to do so. Um, but you can do this during your flight uh, when you are basically on the descent and you're programming all the approaches and also the, the actual arrival, uh, not only from a transition point of view, but the actual approach then uh, you can do this shortly before you reach um, your your star entry point, I would say. By, by that time, you should be finished with it, obviously, because then you need to follow the arrival route. Um, but uh, if, if you know, if, you, if, you, if your trip is very short uh, and you know already what kind of weather you're going to have, you could actually pre-program this already. Um, and if nothing has changed, uh, then you have it already in the way you need it. So it's both both is possible. Um, it doesn't really matter when you put this in. I've just shown you now how to put it in and how this looks and how this is flown. VNAV, LNAV, set your barrel or um, or radio minimums here. That's important. And when you are on the on the glide or when you come to Magat in this case, yeah, if you reach Magat, you turn this altitude down to 1800, and that will lead the vertical navigation mode to actually follow because your V path, your vertical path is now following the, the approach line. Okay, well that's it. And the rest is uh, the usual business, you know, set your flaps, set your auto brakes, set your uh, speed brakes um, and the whole shebang, you know, lights and, and, and so on and so forth. And when you reach minimums, take over manually. Because as far as I know, you cannot do an auto land with uh, RNAV, as far as I understand it. Okay, so you have to take over, and it's like with an ILS uh, th that is category one, you cannot auto land. You can only auto land if you have a Cat 3 uh, equipped airport. And uh, here it is similar, the RNAV is normally doesn't work uh, with the auto land. So at least at the uh, uh, with the add-ons that I had so far, um, and I've tried so far, Autoland wasn't possible. Okay, then I'll see, you. <laughs> maybe I'm going to do a flight, uh, but most likely this is going to be it now. Um, and I'm going to do a German stream where we're going through the same kind of explanations, but in German. And uh, in that stream, I'm most likely going to fly also this approach. Um, and um, maybe you can watch it there then. Uh, what I do, but um, I, I, I don't think I will do another a third video now showing showing the actual approach because uh, there isn't really a benefit of doing that. Uh, I've showed you everything that you need to know and uh, everything else is up to you to try it out. And as always, training, 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 you know, you get better the, often, the more often you do it. Okay, then until next time. <laughs>